Hey everybody, I'm back once again, but this time it's not a rant nor a video game review, this time it's going to be a tutorial. Yes, this is my first tutorial, So, and uh, what's the tutorial going to be about, you may ask. Well, uh, it's about how to extract RSN files, how to open RSN files. And uh, for those of you who know what, what those are, <coughs> they're like a rare file thing you ever you you'll see you'll see on the internet you'll come across unless you uh, like download some stuff and like like say SPC files now I went came across a site that has like a lot of SNES uh, uh, excuse me SNES uh, game music and uh, I downloaded them and it came in an RSN file and I tried to extract it but I didn't know how until I figured it out so for those who are wondering how to crack a RSN file, I'm going to teach you how to do that and also in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to play the SPC files that are in the RSN files to listen to the music, okay? So, let's begin. Okay, so what we're going to do, oh, what the hell, okay, excuse me. Uh, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you how to uh, like uh, download an RSN file or SPC file and uh, play it with your SPC player of your kind. So okay, so let's start. So basically we got some things going on right here. So I don't know what it, what to choose right now, but you know just show you something. The site I'm on is uh, this one right here. It's uh, snesmusic.org slash v2. Well, snesmusic.org. That's basically what it's called. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to select, uh, select uh, one uh, game, uh, one uh, thing for music. And uh, let's see, which one? Cybernator. No, I don't even know what that is. Zombie ate my name or su oh, Sunset Riders. Let's go with this one. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click on the game you want by company. So, like, if you want like Konami music from Konami, like stuff like Sunset Riders and and like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you're just gonna have to like go to the company thing companies on the side, then just uh pick which company for the game that they made and yeah and uh god damn this is gonna take a while maybe not hold on <sighs> okay so now we downloaded the rsn file which is right here this one and as you see it says ssrd rsn which basically means sunset riders rsn now now I had a little trouble figuring this out at first, but I kind of figured this out on my own. But uh, for those who are having trouble with these RSN files and learning how to crack them and open them and like shit like that, th it's very simple. I mean, if you've been looking on stuff like on how to do it, there's easier ways to do this, and uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on it, right-click it, rename it and change RSN to RAR yes RAR now it's going to be a RAR file uh, and there you go see now it's just SSRD you don't see no RSN or anything like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract it so you'll need stuff like WinRAR or something like that to open it so as you see I'm going to extract it with WinRAR I'm going to extract the files Okay, so I'm gonna extract it onto the desktop. And there you go. We got our SSRD Sunset Riders SPC files. Now as you see, they're probably you they're probably gonna like show up as like certificate things or whatever. But basically what the these are our music files, trust me. These are called SPC files. They show up however they come with. And what you're gonna need to play these is an SPC player. Now, to get the players, just 
uh, if you're still on this site, snesmusic.org, just go to players, just click it, and you'll find these uh, music, these are things that play the SBC files, and the one I have is uh, the Japanese SNES SBC 700 player, which is a very good one, but it's uh, j Japanese, so it'll all be read in Japanese, but on my uh, computer it's all gargled shit. So, yeah, so like, this is like stuff for Windows, and there's also stuff for Linux, and Unix, and Macintosh, and multi-platform shit. But, so, but if you have Windows, just go with this one, I'd recommend it. I haven't used anything else. And you can also you open the, and like I said, you can also open your RSM files with Super Jukebox, but I just, the easiest way to do it, just change it to a RAR file and extract it with WinRAR, then use your SPC player. Okay, so now we are going to play an SPC file, or a music file, whatever you want to call it. So just, when you get the SPC player or anything else, I'll show it, of course, it'll be in a file. Just open it, and uh, just, and once it's open, just make sure to just click on the SPC player, which, is, which mine is called SPC play, so. And here you have the SPC player. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go here, which is all gargled mess, I know, I told you. And uh, here's like save, and here's open, just click the top one. And uh, now what we're just going to do is just we're going to select the Sunset Riders one, the SPC files. So I'm just going to go to my desktop, and uh, it should show, uh, where is it? Oh, it's right there. And as you see, it'll show up as all these things. So just I'm gonna pick one and I'm gonna open it. I don't know what this one is. It's probably like the first stage. And uh, oh, hold on. You probably don't hear it on the the computer recording because it's being a little bitch. So let's play this. I'll turn it to the thing so I can hear it. And as you see, it's playing like any music file. So. Okay, so uh, now you know how to play these things, the SPC files, and open the RSN files. So basically, I would recommend going to the site... Uh, snesmusic.org it's a very good site for all the SPC files you want to get it's really easy got every SPC file music file for it and also if you want to like save it save the mu SPC file in the music format just like select the, 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 the one you're listening to go to save and it'll save as like a whatever uh, like a, a WAV file of course or and you could just switch it to WAV right here so you'll get a web web file but I'm not gonna do that right now you can do that on your own time so hopefully you learned something from this hopefully this helped you out uh, I'm Casey this has been my first tutorial I'll probably come up with more when I figure out when there's something else I need to you need help with so that's it okay see you later goodbye have a nice day night or whatever makes you happy goodbye